How's life? This is LaTundra and I'm going to teach you how to make candied strawberries. So for this you need one to two boxes of strawberries, half a cup of water, um, no more than one fourth cup of honey, three cups of white sugar, and a candy thermometer. I will tell you, you need a candy thermometer because it's really difficult to measure out the exact heat without one. So the first thing that you do is you pour the sugar into the pot and while I'm doing this I will say that you can change the recipe depending on your um, on how comfortable you feel, whatever your preference is. And um, remember to do that according to how many strawberries you use because you don't want to like use less strawberries and make more sugar than needed. So after that, you pour the water into the pot and then afterwards you pour the honey in. I do want to say that for this recipe, I measured it by sight, but I know that I did use less than one fourth a cup of uh, honey in this. So this is the result. So you want to stir the ingredients in together while white. And I know that most people who make the re this recipe say like not to stir it, but that's usually because they use corn syrup for this. But I decided to use honey, so you want to mix it in to make sure that you don't want to get any of the honey seen in the actual mix. Afterward, you put your candy thermometer in the pot. And like I said, you need this because you have to measure it so that it gets to a specific temperature. I'll go into that in a few seconds. But you want to set this on, let this simmer on high heat. And like I said from before, you need a candy thermometer to make sure it reads the hard crack point, which are the temperatures listed there. While you're doing this, um, this is really just for me a preference, but you want to remove that like foggy liquid if you see me like scooping it up, because usually it ruins the finish of like the sugar coating on the strawberries. So yeah, this is just the candy thermometer um, measuring out this heat. And I do want to say that I have tried it without a candy thermometer, but I rarely have done it successful and found out on the right temperature. Um, but if you are using it without it, then 15 to 25 minutes is probably the right time it'll be done. And this is the result of what it looks like. So after it's done, you remove it entirely from heat to prevent it from burning. Get your strawberries out. And so for this, you can use either a stick or a fork to place your strawberries on, make sure it's firm, dip them into the sugar, and make sure to turn them fully so that they're fully coated. You usually don't need to dip them more than once to make sure it's like coated like twice, turn it around. I know usually they say that like don't coat it too many times because it'll be too thick. Um, I really don't mind. Usually mine are like a little bit thicker than anticipated, but it still comes out really delicious and stuff. So yeah, you make sure you, that you want to get all the excess sugar out, make sure it turns. If you do it correctly, the sugar should harden as soon as it touches the strawberry. It should be that hot. That's why it has to be at that hard crack point. So that it hardens as soon as it's on there. It should have like a hard surface with a clear shine. It's shiny, beautiful. It should look like glass. That's how it should look. So um, yeah, that's just me over there, just dipping them in. You repeat this process until all of your strawberries are done. They should all have that nice finish on them. Um, and also, I just wanted to say while I'm doing this, yeah, just repeat the process. But I just want to say this while I'm doing this. Um, make sure that you, you do remove it from heat because there was this one instance where I forgot to remove it from heat. And then what will happen is it'll start to burn and it'll become more like a caramel, which is nice, but it'll still have like that burnt, burnt flavor. So you want to make sure that you get that all, you don't want to leave it on heat. And also make sure that you use as much sugar as possible. That's why I said like, make sure you, Kate, you, um, you get the recipe to your needs and how many strawberries you're gonna use because you don't wanna waste all that sugar. Like I know for me, like I know how expensive like sugar is. So like I tried to make sure that I was using as much. If I had to like double dip, triple dip, like I had, it was okay. It would still come out good. But for this, you wanna use like one to two boxes. If you even use three, that's fine. And you can use like maybe like two and a half, but you wanna make sure that you get as much as possible. And as you can see, I actually, only washed out like one box of strawberries because I didn't know that I would make that much. But luckily I had like another box available so that I could use that to use up all the sugar inside there. 
And trust me, guys, this is going to be worth it because it is really beautiful. Like, the strawberries look amazing. Like, they look really good. Um, also, um, I would just say that make sure to do this as soon as possible because, as you can see with that strawberry, it's starting to, like, harden up and, like, it's not as neat a finish as, like, the first ones I had done. Um, you want to do this quickly and use up as much as possible because they harden pretty quick after you remove from heat. So make sure that, like, you're doing it quickly and also you want to make sure that they're being eaten at, like as soon as possible like right after you dip them right after you put them to the side you want to make sure that you eat them because then the humidity like especially if you make this like in the summer the humidity will get to the strawberries and they'll start to like melt and become like stickier and like it still tastes good but it's more like taffy in your mouth and you don't really want that Luckily, I had enough people who loved this recipe and were able to eat it as quickly as possible. And plus, you know, I have like three or five at least after making these and stuff. So, but this is the result. This is what they look like. Enjoy them as soon as they come out because they are delicious. Uh, make sure that you soak the pot in soap and hot water to if it starts to harden. As you can hear, you can hear that nice little crack going on. And then I take my first bite. And oh my gosh, when you hear that hard crack, like that is so satisfying, but it's just satisfying to eat. It's like juicy, and you have that hard, like sweet sugar coating over that. It's amazing, trust me, it looks really good. It's really good. And then if you want, you could like plate it nicely and share it with families and friends and stuff, make it look nice like I did. Or if you want to, you could sneak a few and you know, eat them all for yourself. Not that I would do that, I totally, I would never do that, but. Anyway, um, make sure you enjoy them as soon as possible. It is perfect for those like hot days and stuff, like outside. It is so delicious and stuff. Um, I'm so glad that I learned to make this. It is just perfect. But yeah, if you guys want some, then you guys are just gonna have to make some for yourself. Just kidding, but seriously, try out this recipe. It's delicious. Hey yo, how's life? Um, this is Latundra and I just want to say a few quick things in this outro just to let you guys know what direction I'm going in with this uh, channel. Along with like cooking videos, I also do videos with like writing, stuff related to my podcast. I actually want to like drop music soon sometime in the future so I'm going to let you guys know that soon. Um, I'm also going to leave in the description two of my uh, TikToks. Um, one is like a fun sort of TikTok and one is like more business. I'll leave them both uh, below so you guys can like see them and know what's going on ahead of time if I don't have it on my YouTube. Um, I should be leaving a schedule of how I'm going to be posting videos soon along with like um, my actual podcast soon because um, as well because I'm going to be dropping that around the same time that I drop these videos for my channel. So um, please subscribe, hit that notification button so you guys stay um, tuned on like what's going on and what's going to be coming out in the future because it's going to be a lot. But again, thank you for watching this channel. If you like that, click that notification button and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Stay yummy.